looking for the best gifts for newborns to six month olds. Today, I'm sharing some of our absolute favorites from my two kids. These will last the entire first year and then some of them even into the next year as well. They're all super affordable. If you guys are new here, my name's Rachel from The Confused Mom. I share baby and toddler product reviews and activities as well as Montessori at home tips. So make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss future videos. All right, before we jump in, all of them are going to be linked in the description box below as well as dupes for them because a lot of the items we have are pretty much solely from Love Every Play Kids or our Monty Kids subscription box. They are both awesome options, make fantastic gifts for this age range. I will leave links to my full video reviews on those services as well. But if you just want an individual item, those individual items are going to be linked below. Also a blog post that goes with this video if you need to go back and quick reference anything. First is going to be high contrast flashcards and books. So the first couple months babies can really only see in black and white as their eyesight is developing and these will actually hold their attention, engage them. I'll share my top picks from Amazon in the description box below, but I would actually suggest purchasing Love Avery's high contrast flashcards over the Amazon dupes. They are made of some sort of baby proof material that holds up four years. Ours are three years old. We got these back in 2018. My daughter has put them in her mouth. My son has drooled all over them. They have crinkled them. They have tried to tear them. And I don't know what this is made of, but it is baby proof. The next thing is going to be the classic Montessori mobile. So the Munari, the Octahedron, the Gobi, and the Dancer's Mobile. You can go ahead and rotate these out. And I will say my son's absolute favorite is the Munari. So if you are looking to only get one, that would be the one I'd get. But all of them are fantastic and really help deepen concentration. So laying that foundation for future independent play, as well as just really helping develop a ton of cognitive abilities. Munari Mobile is actually helping your child develop their inherent math skills. The Octahedron is introducing primary colors. The Gobi Mobile is teaching color gradation and so much more. I would put them over the changing table though, not over a crib, or I would hang them from a play gym. Obviously the Monty Kids one is built to be used with these, but I also took a rubber band and used it over our Love Every play gym as well. So you can kind of use that hack depending on which play gym you have. Hopefully it'll work for you too. This item is going to be a baby mirror. Babies love to look at themselves. You can use it for tummy time. I have to say this is one of the best items we have owned not only in the first year but going as far as my daughter's almost three now we still use it consistently she uses it to brush her teeth wipe her face all sorts of different stuff on one side is the mirror on the other side is a high contrast black and white imagery the amazon dupe i found has the exact same thing too this thing is going to be crinkle paper it's really important to introduce a lot of different sensory inputs to your babies crinkle paper is one of those things that is going to keep them highly engaged highly entertained you can throw it in the wash it introduces some different textures when they're mouthing. It introduces some different auditory input. You can put it underneath their feet, so that encourages more kicking and motor development. You can throw it in your diaper bag or purse to keep them entertained or engaged while you're in the car or in a waiting room. Highly recommend adding this to your list. The next thing is gonna be crochet rattles. So like I said, sensory input is critical during the first year, well really the first few years, and crochet and wool are one of those things that often get overlooked, but provide a really enriching sensory experience for your baby. These are super great. You can use them in a wide variety of ways as early grasping toys, hand-to-hand -hand transfer, visual tracking by moving it around your baby, and they also can act as early teething toys. My daughter, she really primarily loved soft teething toys. My son tends to like more wooden, hard toys, so I found some rattles that have like a wood on one side and the crochet on the other. You also don't know which type of teether your baby is going to enjoy the most. Now we're going to move into three to six months and speaking of teethers that is going to be my next suggestion to add to your toy list even though it's not technically a toy it kind of is a toy because everything's a toy at this age there are three teethers I highly 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 recommend and these are going to kind of be teethers that are really great precursors to introducing solids so the first one's going to be the Komotomo which has this really easy to grasp spring and kind of shorter little nubs here the next one is I call them bunny ears <laughs> these little bunny ears so these have a nice little texture and then the nubs are getting just slightly longer and the last one is this fluxy I think it's called obviously the prongs are much longer here and it has three different
different textures that are designed to mimic the texture of fruit. So I would introduce them in this order, starting here, then this one, then this one, but really you can introduce them however you'd like. And the fantastic thing about these is babies typically bring stuff directly forward into your, their mouth. If you ever watch them with their fingers, they're going straight back. But as we move towards introducing solids, we want them to kind of start getting used to using their tongue to push food off to the side to where they would be chewing. And the way that all of these are designed is really useful for getting them used to things being off to the side in their mouth. This one, obviously, they can go straight back in, but that's also a good thing because it will help them find their gag reflex and, again, get used to pushing things off to the side. So these three were I had found from, like, pediatric occupational therapists and nutritionists recommended over and over and over again. We use them with my first. We use them now with my second. And these are really, like, the three teethers I can't recommend enough. The next thing is going to be wooden hand rattles. So the squish rattle and the wooden beads are fantastic fantastic rattles that double as teethers and help baby practice tons of different grips. You can introduce them as early as three months. My daughter does still even play with the wooden beads. In fact, I think I even mentioned it in my one to two year old gift guide last year because it is just one of those items that really, really does last. The next item is the rolling drum rattle, which is a classic Montessori toy. Again, your baby can use it for gripping a different type of texture, shaking it as a rattle, but you can also use it to roll on the floor to encourage crawling and motor movement movements. You can introduce this as early as 12 weeks and it will last through the whole first year if not longer um, depending on the size you get. So a lot of the ones on Amazon that come in like three pack with interlocking discs and some other rattles are, tend to be really small. However, Love Every sells an individual one that is larger and will last much longer. There is one on Amazon I also found that is the same size as Love Every's individual one. So I will leave links to both of those options below. Next thing is going to be sensory balls. Again, lots and lots of different textures and grips is really what we're working on this first year. Ours come from Love Every and Monty Kids, but they offer very similar ones on Amazon. The big thing to note with the Amazon one is that they have a little hole in that. And a lot of parents in the reviews said that their baby's drool got into that hole. When they cut it open, there was mold. So one reviewer had a really smart idea. She just added a touch of hot glue and then sanded that down so it was completely flush. If you don't want the full pack, Love Every also sells one of those balls individually. The next item is going to be a wooden board book. So our wooden board book came in our looker play kit from Love Every. It's high contrast so we were able to introduce it as early as zero weeks old. They also sell a wooden board book individually that has little paintings of different animals and then I also have one of real animals I found on Etsy. Whether you get a high contrast one from zero to eight weeks or one of these colored options in the three to six month range doesn't really matter. What matters is just how having a wooden board book in my experience. So again, teething. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking about teething. My daughter, when we put her in her car seat during that first year, we would typically give her a book. And while she was teething, she started to chew through all of the cardboard board books. Didn't matter how thick the pages were, they would just get gnawed and were destroyed. However, the wooden board book, she was not able to chew through or destroy. So I really suggest parents have at least one wooden board book for exactly that reason. They're compact. They can fit in a diaper bag or a purse, easy to travel with, and can end up saving you a lot of money in destroyed books. The next item is going to be the spinning drum, which is a classic Montessori toy. We didn't have it with my first. We have it with my second, and my toddler at three years old loves to play with this. My son's still a little bit young, but he loves to watch us play with it. And like I said, it is a classic Montessori toy. I would introduce it around five to six months. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and make sure to hit that notification and subscribe button so you don't don't miss my next video, which is going to be Montessori friendly gift guide for six to 12 months. In the meantime, make sure to check out my Montessori gift guide for one to two year olds and check out those play kit subscription reviews. If you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the comment below, hit me up on Instagram, and as always, have a good one.